great. Brilliant. Do you need that back? Have that back. Brilliant. You get what you pay for, Robbie. You get what you pay for. Listen, okay. we're all making cuts. <laughs> Tell me it isn't true, my friend. 25 years, I'm in a comfy knit. You're looking good, mate. Well, I'm still rock and rolling it up. It isn't true. It's 27 years. Is it 27? Yeah, so we're still doing the anniversary because 25 is a more rounded number than 27. Yeah. And it's yeah. 32 years since I joined Take That. Your new single, Lost, is a treat. Very haunting. Says exactly what it does on the tin. A friend of mine, Ollie Swan, great musician, great songwriter, new friend of mine, sent me over this uh, backing track with these chords on and the chords were very melancholic. And where did I go creatively with the melancholy was when I felt my most melancholy, which was uh, 1995 to 2000, where I rode that train into hedonism. I, you know, lost everything, myself, my world, my life, my friends, my family, my hope. And um, fortunately, I get to sing that song from a very different place. And do you think it would happen to the equivalent today, the Harry Styles of this world? Or, you know, the, the one Ds, if you like, if they've been on the same journey. You look at Take That, right? Yeah. You break Take That down. Mark Owen's been into rehab. He's had his struggles. And uh, Gary's talked about his bulimia and his agoraphobia and, you know, what happens straight after Take That. Howard talked about, you know, wanting to commit suicide after Take That ended. And Jason just can't be in the band because he can't deal with it mm. because it's too much. And then there's me. So that's what really happened. <laughs> Time will tell with One Direction, you know, what happens to them, who they are. Still pretty much early days, even though the band have been split up for a while. I wish them love and I wish them safety. Always. And, you know, they're all, uh, they're all good boys. Very quickly, the Netflix documentary. What will we learn that we, we kind of don't know already? Not much, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Because I'm still ambitious and I still want to succeed. For my ego, I still need to be able to go, I've had this idea, call them, and they pick up the phone and they want to listen. You know, I don't want that to go away. Just imagining what would happen if I ever called someone up and they actually took what I said seriously and well, exactly. rammed an idea. Well, exactly. I don't want to experience not, that. Not, I, I, you don't want to be Richard Arnold. <laughs> no, well, well, Robbie Williams. Hey, listen, Mate. you know, if I'd have grown up to be Richard Arnold, I'd have been very, very, very happy. Stop it. I'm welling up. I'll pass oh. that on to my mum.